Uh, Sairam, can you hear me? Yes, boss. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much. A very good morning to one and all present over here. Teachers, chairman, principal, and headmistress, headmasters, school owners, directors. Yeah, thank you so much for joining on, on a Sunday morning like this. It gives me immense pleasure to talk again on some of the fantastic tools and resources that are present out there for an effective communication with the students, especially during such kind of a pandemic situation. It's been quite some time that at Super Teacher Edu Reforms, we have been conducting a program called as Mission eGuru, uh, in which we have a 21 hour training program specifically designed for the teachers in such a way that you cater to all the requirements for the current scenario of online communication. So may it be a video conferencing tool, how we are supposed to use, may it be what are the resources for a specific subject online, may it be how to actually use all these tools in the class, making sure that you get regular feedback from the students, lots and lots more. So these classes are properly designed in different modules and have been categorized in 20 hours, 21 hours basically. And the batches are actually starting from tomorrow. So from tomorrow, uh, we have, I think two batches running simultaneously and uh, there are sufficient number of seats. Already many teachers have been participating and this particular workshop, which we are going to have right now, uh, will give you a proper trailer of how the training would look like. I'm pretty sure if you're interested, uh, in this particular, if you're interested with this particular demonstration, which is going to happen for another one hour right now, uh, you might want to think about joining the training program through the website superteacher.in. So we will be continuously giving the website links here on the chat and the teachers right now, you're all there in forced mute uh, option. So you're not able to unmute and talk considering this to be a live event. It's, it's happening on YouTube as well. So even after the workshop, if you want to go back to YouTube, uh, please visit Super Teacher official uh, YouTube channel. You'll get to see the same workshop out there. So you can use it in whatever way you want. I can see some of the teachers who have been regularly coming to sessions on uh, every Sunday. In fact, yeah, every Sunday we do conduct uh, sessions on coding. We conduct sessions on teachers, uh, professional development programs and whatnot. So today is also going to be one such day and we're going to talk about lots and lots of uh, resources. Let me see how much resources we can co cover, cover in the next one hour. We're starting a little late uh, at 11 10. So till 12 10 we'll be continuing and let's see how much resources we are able to cover. Uh, more than the marketing part, I'll ensure that this session gives you a lot of insight on, oh, there are so many tools which I can use. Um, most of the tools which I'm going to show you right now, there are lots of chances that uh, you might have already started using them. So that's okay, no problem. Please wait for it. You might come across one or two resources which you're going to see for the first time. Uh, things have changed quite a lot since a long time back, right? Like uh, the way uh, the thing, like teaching used to happen. Students used to actually go to a teacher's house. You remember? I do not know if you have done that. Probably if your grandparents, grandparents, great grandparents would have undergone such kind of an education system. I mean, they used to go to the teacher's house and learn. We call that as tuitions now, but back in those days, we call that Gurukul system of schooling. I think you might know about it. And it was very prevalent in Asian countries. In fact, in China, it, it still happens. Yeah. So right after Gurukul system, there was a time when the teachers and the students both went to one particular location and it used to be called as Patshala or school. Everybody is equal, you know, to abolish that the grades they, they they just made sure that people have uniform and then that's how it started and everybody is going to the school right now but now at the present scenario we are not going anywhere but still the schooling is happening students are there at home you are there at home in fact right now it's luxury of the students I mean, they're there in the best position possible, lying on the sofa, attending the school. And in fact, more than the students, teachers are studying to conduct a particular class. Well, that's quite enlightening. I, I can't really say that it's a wrong thing or a sad part, but I'm really happy that there's a massive shift that has happened uh, for the teachers community, wherein we are all you know, forced to use the technology. And once we started realizing the, the essence of it, I think even after the school reopens, uh, teachers out there, Deepa or, or you know, Meher can, will be starting to use all these things even in regular classes. That, that, that itself is a big success, right? Anyways, let's get into the subject teachers. I'll quickly, you know, start with uh, the session. I'll not take much of your time. Uh, please watch out for the Super Teacher website. It's there on the link here on the chat and you will have this option of Mission eGuru. If a school principal is there out and would like to have multiple teachers participating for tomorrow's batch, which we can actually do, 
uh, kindly contact on the number that will be shared on the chat and we can have some discounts depending on the number of teachers so don't worry about the pricing it's all about the learning if you really want to learn please call us we'll ensure that you're definitely of uh, you know we make things affordable for you for sure yeah let's quickly start with the session teachers so the first thing in the foremost every teacher out there one of the most important tools that he or she has been using is the blackboard which is not present right now right so the people have been using lots of different methods with which uh, they try to write on the screen some people type on the screen some people write on the screen you can quickly make a note of this writing pad which can actually be very helpful to you called as vacuum writing pads i think v a c o m or w a c o m i'm not remembering vacuum writing pads you just have to use your usb cable connected to uh, yeah w a c o m connected to your laptop or desktop and start writing on that it will get displayed on the screen that can act as a mini board right now of course that black board with the chalk dust that used to create much more impact in the class but still for the current scenario vacuum boards it comes at a cost of 3500 to 5000 rupees approximately so i think you can use that some people have been already using ipads and all or any tablet for that matter you can use that as well ipads have stylus pen and you can start writing on your ipad which could be you know displayed on the screen for the students now all the writing whenever we do it um uh, you have to you know use it on a whiteboard zoom has whiteboard you know you just have to uh you just have to uh click on this uh, share screen option on zoom and there's an option called as whiteboard the moment i click on that you can see the whiteboard right on my screen right now so here i can write whatever i want yeah now i'm using a mouse so i'm not really writing anything properly but yeah whiteboard could be shared and 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 on a similar note if you want to use uh any uh, uh pads i mean tabs or something like that you can go with ipad ipad is quite expensive by the way it's like around 40k approximately 35 40000 including the stylus so yeah why not you could i can like i would prefer to use rather a vacuum pad in the beginning at least once there's a requirement and once you feel that it's really good then you can start it yeah rajkumar you're right i scribe writing pad has got good features absolutely absolutely thank you so much for that yeah so that with respect to vacuum pads right after vacuum pads uh, uh rest of the things are on the screen itself you have all these tools on annotation you can have different color pens and things like that and you can start using it now with respect to blackboard or whiteboard replacement a science teacher can have fantastic uh, you know tools with which she can actually communicate a concept oshin das say for example is going to talk about physics today and uh, he or she would like to talk about reflection of light or electromagnetic induction now when it is there in the class making the students understand is really easy you just have to draw it on the board and convey the message what do you do online online there are fantastic tools so here we go the first website which i would like to introduce you to or uh, like introduce all of you is called as fed.colorado.edu now fed.colorado.edu is a fantastic website teachers on which you can actually do simulations simulations are those areas where you can actually bring uh, a real time scenario virtually now say for example pramita would like to learn how to fly an aeroplane you know when she goes to a particular aviation academy they they don't ask her to you know directly take an aeroplane go for a ride and come back no that doesn't happen they ask her to go to a place a room wherein it looks like an aeroplane kind of a prototype and looking at that she has to perform certain actions using those controllers now that representation of an original aeroplane inside a room is called as a simulator i think you would have gone to many malls in your state or city or town and you would have seen that on the top floor you have this gaming arcade and all uh students tend to sit on the bike and they move like this and 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 they it, it it appears as if they're moving right on the screen right so that's that's kind of a simulation of what's happening what what's there in reality in brought into a virtual scenario so simulations help a lot to the students when we actually talk about uh, you know science so here especially in this mode of communication you can come to this website and talk about all these options now say for example bending of light the moment i open bending of light this is how it gets opened up and here you can see that there's a torch light present over here just like the way in your science lab we click on the light and we show the students see this is how the light goes and it bends inside the water because that's a denser medium so it comes closer to the normal and some component gets reflected back 
path. Yeah, you talk about it and you talk about the laws of reflection. You say that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. How do you do that? You have a protractor over here and using protractor, you can measure the angle of incidence, measure the angle of reflection, measure the angle of refraction. Talk about Snell's law, sine I by sine R is refractive index. How do you do that? All you can do just by controlling these, uh, you know, navigators. You just have to move it upside up and down and you can see the change in refractive index and the density of uh, the mediums, medium number one and medium number two. Similarly, if I have to measure the intensity of light, it's 100% it's when it is incident. Uh, some portion, which is 13% gets reflected and 87% gets refracted, depending on the density. Now, if the density is lesser, I think 88% uh, gets refracted, lesser gets reflected. I do not know. Yeah. As a science teacher, you might get an idea. Now, again, if I click on prisms over here, I can have, uh, you know, dispersion of light topic to be, yeah, covered over here. You can see that there are two prisms that have added over here and the white light getting dispersed to seven different colors. So rather than drawing it on the notebook, no, on the blackboard, I think such kind of simulators can convey a better message. I'll show you one more. I'll show you one more. Now here you have force as a topic. Yeah. Now here you have, uh, okay. I have this person coming over here. Okay. And I have a smaller guy coming over here, right force. Let me put him here. Okay. Does it really matter where we I'm putting him? Absolutely. Now I click on go. Now when he pulls that, you can see that of course the larger person wins. Yeah. We know that because the left force is not equalizing the right force. Okay. Let, let's return back. Let's have one more small guy and a medium guy. Okay, I'll remove this guy. Okay, now let's click on go. Now you can see that the 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 forces are equal and because of which this, this cannot move in either direction. Now I introduce one small guy over here and then this changes to another direction. I can have values written over here. I can have the speed mentioned over here, some of the forces. And in this way, you can actually talk to the students and you have this blue winds kind of a thing. So really, I, I really like this uh, website called as fed.colorado.edu to explain a certain concept with, with actual simulations uh, really works good, really works good. I got an interest in science because of this website when, when it speci specifically spoke about uh, electricity. See, whenever we talk about science, uh, students get to understand things when they are able to experience that. It's very simple. Uh, you talk about gravity, you, you show an apple going up and falling down, the students are able to see that. But what about current? Current is something which you cannot feel or, or you don't have a proof of its working. You can't get a shock to witness that. But of course, we have to convey the message, right? In such cases, I, I, I used, uh, you know, FET and uh, FET really gave a good clarity. Now, this particular uh, experiment talks about Faraday's law. It states that when magnetic lines of field interacts with a conductor, it induces an EMF in the circuit and a current flows through it. Did you understand the statement? No, it's quite complicated, right? For the first time for a student to hear it or read it, thoda sa it is complicated. For me to make it more easy, I come to the website, I trigger on the field lines, I even use a voltmeter. Now I just use the magnet and make sure that they cut each other. Did you see that? There's a glow. Now when I do from outside, still it happens because there is a magnetic lines of interaction. Yeah, still it happens. But when I put it inside, it's maximum. That's the reason you have current co carrying coils and based on this mechanism, we have developed even the, the whole big DC motors. I think you know about it, right? Rotors and stators and stuff like that. So here in this case, I have this. And if I have to increase another coil altogether over here, you can see that when the number of turns are less, the EMF induced is less. When the number of turns are more, the EMF induced is more and the light glows bright. So in this particular way, we can actually talk to the students, a lesson plan for electromagnetic induction of Faraday's law. Uh, if it's for three periods, you can actually cover that in one period. That itself is like sufficient for us. Yeah. So right after this, there are so many other experiments. I, I like states of matter as well. Here they talk about solid, liquid, gas. And, and the best part is when, when I have a solid over here, I can choose uh, oxygen, argon, neon uh, or water, say, for example. And I played and you can see that this is how the vibration of molecules happen over here. And suppose if I increase the heat, uh, I hold it there. Just see what happens over here. Yeah. So over the period of time on the top, the water becomes vapor and it starts moving around. So one by one, it starts rotating. You can see the spinning of the molecules. 
and in this way it keeps happening use the temperature again i bring it back to you know low temperature you can see the change in uh, degrees over here and then and that way i can talk to the students about the movement of molecules and stuff like that right yeah so this is something which is really interesting and i request all the teachers out there you have to take this out and and make sure that you talk about this to someone and uh, make an impact fet is a fantastic website right after fet i also would like to talk about another famous uh online simulator called as olabs.edu now olabs.edu uh, .in is a website which was actually made by amrita vishwavidya peetham now um, amrita nandamai you, you might have heard about educational institutions from kerala they are really good with respect to providing open source resources now what do you mean by oer open education resources that are free to use i'll be talking about all these things one by one so first let me tell you what this olabs website is all about the moment you come to this website teachers you can see this physics chemistry biology maths and english yeah these are the subject which it actually belongs to fet is more of science maths it's more of your science maths and english as well here when i click on physics uh, i think most of you know this yeah pramita ma'am have you heard about this you know when 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 some student comes to grade 9 they use an extra notebook called as record notebook for the first time and in record notebook they start writing experiments they have their own drawings uh they have ray diagrams observation table what not so that happens from class 9 and this website is all about those experiments which can be made which can be simulated online without you know having the materials so that's why we have class 9 10 11 and 12 and these are the experiments now if you ask me is it matching cbse icse it's actually matching the age i should say because all the experiments that are there in cbse they are present over here and most of the experiments not all which are there in icscs are, are are also present over here my point over here is uh, it's more of an age appropriate content rather than you know curriculum specific so please come over here and know more about it let me click on one of the experiment to give you how it looks like an idea so here you can see that theory procedure animation everything is there ohms law and resistance is the topic under theory you can see aim the theory you have the complete detail then the learning outcomes let's go to the next step we have procedure yeah where we have materials required real lab procedure and this is interesting when you come down you have something called a simulator procedure now when we look into simulator procedure what do they actually mean by it i'll, I'll let you know I'll, i'll quickly let you know so right after looking into the procedure you can go to simulator or you can go to animation now when i go to animation it actually talks about how to perform this experiment when you're there in the school or online Let's let's hear it for a moment. I'm not going to play this for a longer time, but yeah, watch this. Ohm's law. Our aim is to determine the resistance per centimeter of a given wire by plotting a graph of potential difference versus current. and hence to determine its resistivity to do the experiment battery one way key measuring connect the positive terminal of a battery to the positive terminal of ammeter using a connecting wire connect the negative terminal of the ammeter to the positive terminal of the voltmeter using a connecting wire the negative terminal of the voltmeter is connected to the upper terminal of the rheostat using a piece of wire connect the lower terminal of so here in this case yeah uh here in this case we can see that on the top right corner you have uh the circuit diagram and at the bottom you have the instructions along with the animation part of it so right after this uh you can you know after figuring out the complete video you can go to simulator and here you have the the materials present on a simulation i just have to you know pick this up and start connecting the wires one by one see how beautiful this is i don't really have to you know be in the school for in fact i don't i shouldn't say that rather than this right after coming back to home after doing an experiment in the school a student need not worry about remembering the connections and stuff like that see they don't get chance to be in the lab multiple times of course you do allow it the school does allow it but at the same time 
uh, at the convenience of the students, they can actually, you know, do it at home multiple times. And you can see that the ammeter reading is there, voltmeter reading is there. I can move the rheostat up and down to change the resistance. And here is the observation table with which I can verify V equal to IR, which is Ohm's law and resistance. The topic is completed. I click on video to have a real life experience of it. I can see that. Then Viva questions are present. Of course, that's very important. Right after that resources from where these content was actually taken and made. That's it, that's it. So in this particular way, I have the complete details of a particular experiment from grade nine till 12. So any science teachers out there, I am pretty sure that out of all the other websites, this will be the most fascinating apart from FET and online. Right after this, uh, you also have one of the experiments on English. Let me show you quickly. Some English teachers will be very happy about it. I'm randomly opening uh, propositions and you can see that there's a theory based on that. I can just look into the bottom. Mouse is on the table. Mouse is in the cupboard. We have mouse between sofa and chair. So they talk about between below uh, is at the corner of the table. No, it's at. At is the preposition, right? Yeah. So all these things are, uh, you know, preposition of position, something like that. Yeah. So here we know about the common mistakes. You have things related to that. Procedure, you have the procedure on how to do it. Let me go to lab directly. What is the activity that they have over here for prepositions? So the moment I click on this, you can see that uh, there's something called as exercise one. I click on exercise one. And the moment I click on exercise one, you'll be able to see that uh, there's, there's one kind of a portrait over here of some kind of an animation over here. We just have to pick up the ball and, and place it in the position that is asking us to do. So right after giving the students an explanation of what preposition of position is all about, you can actually get the students uh, do an activity through this. So let me click on got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm ready. Yeah. So here when I click on start, uh, you can see that ball in the living room. So this is the explanation that they do. Put the ball below the table. So I have the ball and I keep it below the table. The moment I do, I get an appreciation. Your answer is correct. See the next question. Let's see the next question. Put the ball, no, place the ball between the family portrait and the clock. Okay, the ball has to be placed over here. Let me place it over here. Let's see what happens. Okay, it says that this is not the correct position. Currently, the ball is between the wall painting and the clock, which is wrong. Okay, let's let's uh, have put the ball between the family. Let's do this. I think now we'll get it right. So in this way, the students can actually give answers. They can even have discussions over here. You can contribute to discussions. Only thing is the first time when we are actually going to do it, you have to log in. Once you, you know, log in, then everything gets recorded and teacher gets to see what the students are doing. Let me go back home. Yeah. So in this particular way, FET and OLAPS can assist your class with very good uh, uh, simulations that could be done by being at home, making sure that all the learnings are happening. Hands-on activity has its got hands-on activity has caught its own charm but at the same time as we are there in the position where we have to conduct, conduct virtual classes the third covid wave is also about to come it's like you know just like the way we have summer winter and rainy season or summer rainy and winter season we have this covid coming in season on season on season we can't really be sure of the future right i think in that regard these websites are going to be really very helpful right after that this is another website for maths teacher which which i really love desmos.com is one of the best websites that as a maths teacher you can ever use you can you have maths tools i click on graphing calculator there's something called as graphing calculator i have geometry tool there are many others we'll be discussing about each one of them a little later. Now, the moment I go to desmos.com, you can see that in graphing calculator, we have a layout like this. A math teacher can talk to the students stating that everything that we write on the notebook, which we call as algebraic expressions, uh, represents some kind of some kind of a figure on geometry. Let, let me write an equation. Now, say, for example, x plus y equal to 5. The moment I write an equation called as x plus y equal to 5, you can see that that's an algebraic expression. No, it, it's kind of an equation, right? Yeah, and that equation actually represents a straight line. Now, some of the max teachers will be like, yeah, x plus y equal to phi is actually called as linear equation in two variables. Yeah, now why do we call that as a linear equation? We call that as a linear equation because the degree is one. Just not that. It is called as a linear equation because it's forming a straight line on the graph. Student get to think that everything that I write on the notebook with whatever denotion or notation, it has got some meaning on the graph. 
that's fascinating right let's go to the next one so i write say for example x square if i want a maths keyboard that's present at the bottom over there x square plus y square it's very simple uh, equal to 8 say for example see the moment i do this you you saw that i get a circle over here so any equation which has got degree 2 or you know raised to the power 2 it it, it represents a curve figure let me remove this and see do i get anything no i'm not able to get anything no so suppose i do this yes i get it so i get some kind of an image which is more of a parabola over here it's again a curved figure so whenever there's a quadratic equation it's more of a curved figure this is nice right i can keep playing around and and make sure that you know it properly happens and you can see that these two equations have one common point called 2 comma 2 it satisfies both equation and you can talk about solution of two equations in this particular way so the vision of mathematics will totally get changed with this mosh. There are so many other websites like geogebra.org. I have been using geogebra for higher classes. Even for low classes, it's a very good website. But any maths teacher out there, if you want to begin your journey with online communication, Desmos is a good, Desmos is a good option. Right after that, let me click on this uh, um, geometry tools. Now, you are all missing on the board, right? But this will help you out. If I have to draw a circle, just click on that and then just bring it up as simple as that i want to draw a cyclic quadrilateral say for example i click on line segment i do this i do this i do this okay i made line segment so i have made two chords right now what if i want to make a polygon so i click on the polygon over here a cyclic quadrilateral i click on this i click on this i click on this and again i do this a cyclic quadrilateral called to be a cyclic quadrilateral when the opposite angles are supplementary right so i click on the angle i measure the angle that's 89 and this should be 91 yeah 89 plus 91 that's 180 degrees in this way teachers you can draw line segments you can draw parallel lines you can do whatever you want and and you can conduct the classes. I really like this. There's another option called as transformation and you should definitely, you know, look into transformation whenever, uh, uh, you know, you get time. I, I really request you to do that. You can see that uh, the reflection of this particular line comes over there. And whenever I move this, there's a change over there. So I think uh, higher level mathematics can be uh, very well taught using transformation options over here. We will be talking about all these things in detail during our training program. Right now, it's just a demonstration. Yeah, that's it. Let me close Desmos. Now comes another interesting area for social studies teacher. In fact, I don't really want to categorize this website only for social studies uh, because this website I've been seeing all the subject teachers have been using called as Google Earth. Have you heard about Google Earth? Yeah. Google Earth is a fantastic website in which or through which you can take the students on a virtual field trip. Now, what do you mean by virtual field trip? It's about taking the students to that particular spot of learning. Uh, Google Earth comes in mobile application as well. So if anybody is interested, you can download the app as well, teachers. Uh, the app works much faster than the things which are present over here on the website yeah so the moment i click on this i click on launch earth and uh this particular google earth uh, as a software has got a lot of features just not about taking the students to one location it's also about conducting assessments having some kind of gamified quiz competitions and things like that all these things can happen through google earth let's let's do one of those so that we all come onto the same page the moment you open google earth this is how it will actually look like you know look like this There'll be stars blinking at the background. Yeah, they, there they are. And you can rotate around. You can see our India, the map, and you can see the cloud movement right now. That's great, right? Yeah. So let me quickly open that. Now I go to uh, the search button. I would like to request some of the teachers to contribute onto the chat. Uh, if you would like to go to any particular location, just, just put it on the chat. Where shall we go on Google Earth? Anyone, anyone out there? Just, just randomly name a place. Let's see if we can go to that particular location. I'll give you five more seconds. Somebody on the chat, which location would you prefer to go? Taj Mahal, New York, Agra. That's great. Argentina, Gurgaon. Okay, sure, Celine. Canada, China. Okay, I've got sufficient places. Let's see. So let's go with Taj Mahal first. Okay, it's already there. 
I've searched it last time. So the moment I do Taj Mahal, it will actually take us to that particular location. And the moment it takes us to there, we can see that it looks like one gift, gift showpiece. Up upper se dekh sakte ho. See, I can I can look on Taj Mahal like this. You can see this, and and the best part is, uh, you can actually create a project out of it. But right now, I'm going to use a pigman and 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 put him right over here. So let's see what happens. So the moment I put the pigman right over there, you can have this view of Taj Mahal right in front of you, as if you're present over there. This is called as the street view. Now, street view option is really interesting. Now, suppose if a social studies teacher is talking about, uh, you know, say for example, uh, Mughal dynasty, they talk about Shah Jahan was a great architect, uh, Baba was a great leader, and things like that. Just imagine if you have this real-time image at the back and you talk about it. Don't you think the students are going to listen to you much better than you know a normal social studies class? I can roam around and see all different areas. You can talk about the arch kind of a structure, the tomb kind of a structure. This is very common in Mughal Empire. Yeah, during Mughal, you know, Mughal dynasty, basically. So let's let's go to another place. I think you guys spoke about. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Agra. Okay. New York. Let's let's see New York. Kuch dikta hai. Okay. Statue of Liberty, New York. Let's let's directly go to the city, see like random place. The moment I go to New York, this is how it takes me there. And the best part of United States and other countries, many other countries, is that they have allowed 3D structures. That means I'll show you. Let's let's go down a little bit more. This is how New York City looks like. And the more I go down, you can see the 3D buildings present over here. Let's see. Okay, that's New York at City Hall Park. And you can see these buildings, high rise buildings. And the best part is I can just, you know, go on the sideways as well. Did you see that? As if I'm watching, I can, I can zoom into these offices and see if anybody's working over there. So that's, this is the best part of, uh, you know, uh, Google Earth with respect to 3D view. You can actually go to any location and you can roam around. Let's let's go to this area and see if we have any street view or something like that. I, I just pick up the peg man. Yeah, you've got good street views out there. Let me drop him over there. So right after that, it takes us to that particular location as if we are there. Welcome to New York. Yeah, this is beautiful. Right? Hey, can you see that? That's Statue of Liberty over there. Awesome. We can actually go there, I guess. Can I? No. <laughs> this is nice. Good one. So in this particular way, teachers, we can actually travel different uh, areas. Okay. So they have a board over there. Please wear a mask. Okay. That's called as Wagner Park. Yeah. We're there in New York right now. Probably lockdown time. That's why nobody's there on the streets. Except me. Let's go to another place. How about, okay, China? Canada, India, USA. See, yeah. So you can go to any place. But by, by the way, you can do that. NASA. That's a good, good question. Let's let's see if NASA comes instead of. Okay, let's do this. So at the moment I do it, I think I might go to NASA Center. Am I there? No, it's 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 not. It, this is not the NASA. Probably. This is something else. Let me try again. No, it's just a research institute. I don't think so. I'm, I'll be, I'm not searching it pretty closely. Let me drop this guy and see if that's the NASA. The moment I do this, I go to the street view. And this is what they claim to be NASA. No, this is just another building. So in this way, I can keep going around teachers. Yeah, yeah, of course, we can go to pyramids of Giza and things like that. Yeah. Now, the next one is about the Voyager option right below the search option. Uh, the Voyager option has got lots of information, especially I would like to show you the games area and, and uh, you can actually interact with the students. Let me click on quiz animal calls and then talk about uh, something related to that. So suppose if students, if, if you are a teacher and uh, for primary class students, and if you want to talk about animal sounds and things like that. So here in this case, you can actually see that we have the pictures of animals and, and it says that which creature makes the sound when it's on the move. So let me play the sound and you have to tell me the animal. Anyone? What, which animal is this teachers? Any idea? 
I think this should be horse, right? Horse. Yeah, Sultana, ma'am, you're right. Yeah, that's horse. Let's click on horse. Do we get the right answer? Yes. One, one good thing about Google Earth is right after answering a certain question, it will actually take us to that particular location where we can see horses for the real time. Did you see that? See, we're able to see that, right? And there's a brief description as well. Visitors to the natural regional park of it's, it's Monte Lucre, Italy in the Italian countryside. Somebody wanted to go to Italy, right? So we are there at Italy right now. That's, that's nice, right? I can just roam around. So right after your evening snacks or something, rather than going out in the lockdown right now, I think I can use Google Earth to roam around. This is nice. Let me go to the next, uh, answer this question. Which pack animal makes this guttural cry? Can you hear that? Llama, camel, yak. Once more. Okay. So let's click on camel. Yeah, camel is the right answer. It takes us to that location where you can see the camels. Can I? Can I? One, two, three. Here we go. So yeah, I can see the camels, and yeah, it's 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 the desert out there. And this is in Israel. That's great. And you can see these guys are looking at us. I go to the next question. Which animal makes this grunting noise? Big koala art walk. <laughs> Have you heard this? Yeah, it's quite common in India. Uh huh. Okay, I don't know. You're right. Shamin, you're right. That's that's a pig. Yeah, but pig. Let's see how beautiful this pig looks like here in this particular country. It, it it's there in Bahamas. Yeah, again, United States. So here we go, and look at this. Yeah. So it's a beautiful beach out there, and you can see that human beings and pigs coexist, unlike in India. That's that's very rare. Yeah, I go to the next question and let's see if we have anything over here. Yeah, we do have. This chattering sound is made by Antarctic native. Is it seal? Is it snow petrel? Or is it penguin? Any idea? That's penguin? We, have, we are right with all the questions. The moment I do that, it takes us to the place where we can see penguins. So, you know, I don't think so. Students will get up from the place and go out when we have such kind of teaching methods. You can see the penguins, the black and white, cute little creatures, big fat. Yeah, <laughs> I go to the next question. That's it. So in this particular way, I can keep on going to different questions and, you know, talk to the students and take them on a ride. Trust me, one period will go on the you know, such kind of learning. So many things come over here. Students get to see the real image. They get to hear the questions. Uh, it's a very different approach of teaching learning methodology, which you can, you know, actually adopt through uh, Google Earth. I'm stopping the screen share. Too much to take it, teachers. Am I being very fast? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that lots of information is getting on into you. I'm, I'm uh, like, if, if you're not able to understand, don't worry about it. So I have lots of information to show. And that's the reason I'm, you know, hurrying up a little bit. But anyway, suppose if you would like to know all these things in detail, um, uh, the training program starts from tomorrow. The batches are starting from tomorrow. I would like to request you to consider at least researching about what the training program is all about by going to the website superteacher.in. And you can anyways follow our pages. And the moment you go to the website, you'll get to know what are the different programs that we are running, you know, on a regular basis. So the batches are starting from tomorrow for Mission eGuru. Whatever we are discussing right now is, is called as Mission eGuru. Let me click on uh, the share screen for the mobile phone. I have something really very interesting to talk to you all teachers. And this particular aspect of, uh, you know, uh, teaching through mobile phone is augmented reality. I think most of you know about it. Let me get the phone corrected. One second, I'm not able to share the screen. Turn off the video. Give me just five to 10 seconds, teachers. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. It's working now. So I think that's the issue. Got it. So I click on share screen. The moment I do that, this is how it comes over here. So one of the most important, um, uh, you know, 
one of the most important aspects of online communications is the distraction the students don't really would like to be you know in the class listening to you so for that there are so many things with which you can actually make them sit in the class like google earth you just saw that apart from that augmented reality is another buzzword in the industry like everybody is looking forward to uh, to create their own ar and teach with an effective way one such organization which is government of india are trying really very hard to incorporate augmented reality in the curriculum i think some of the teachers out there might know that there was a time in in ncert textbooks on the top you used to have some kind of a barcode the moment you scan that it used to take to a place where it used to be some kind of a question paper then that barcode got changed to qr code i do not know if you know this or not you can actually scan that qr code then you can see some question papers audio video content and all but now each and every image that you're looking at ncert textbook has got converted like a code and they come alive how do they come alive using this particular application called as e patshala ar i request everyone to please make a note of it e patshala ar is a fantastic application you can see that it's it's written right over there on my screen e patshala this one thing called as e patshala this another one called as e patshala ar i click on e patshala ar and this is how it gets opened up now here in this case um because of the pandemic situation right now the update did not happen to a large extent uh i have the option over here to select the class class 9 class 10 and things like that so i i would like to select class 9 as of now subject is biology uh chapter number 5 and say figure 5.2 now what am i doing i'm actually selecting a particular figure a a photo or a figure that's present on the textbook of ncert Uh, which has uh, augmented reality in it let me click on go so for this to work i require the notebook with me the textbook with me so here in this case i have the textbook you can see that uh, this is chapter 5 that's fundamental unit of life this is figure 5.1 i hope everybody is able to see that now right below that you have figure 5.2 and that cells of an onion peel the moment i keep the camera over there you can see that there's an onion present over there now the moment i click on the onion one by one uh i can i start performing an experiment out there the same experiment that you do in the school i mean i think most of you would have done this looking at the onion peel have you done this through the microscope so there are instructions coming at the back drop and and it's actually performing this task one by one you just have to tap on it one by one and every time i do it whatever you used to do uh, in the school with respect to you know looking at the so th there's a solution that you use you know a dropper and you put that solution over there is, is it potassium permanganate no that's saffronine i guess now right after i click on that there's a watch glass kept over that and it's going under the microscope and right after it goes under the microscope now if i have to view the onion cells i just have to go to the top i 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 go to the top and i tap on the microscope the moment i do that uh, you can see that uh, there is uh, the onion peel did you see that this is so 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 clear so just like the way i do it in the school i have done it over here using augmented reality i come back again i come back again it's very simple download e patshala ar have your ncert textbook make sure you select the class 9 or 10 right now only 9 10 classes are available all the other classes will also get uploaded very soon right after that you have to select the subject physics chemistry biology this is going to come for other subjects as well including social and english uh, right after that you have to select the chapter which you would like to have and then select the figure which you want to have uh, and then that's it the camera turns on and you can scan it let's let's go to figure 5.5 just for the sake of going i click on go now now the moment i go to figure 5.5 i need to search for figure 5.5 this is 5.2 so i open this this is figure 5.3 and i keep going and i keep going and i keep going this is figure 5.4 and this is figure 5.5 see that's an animal cell can you see that figure 5.5 and that gets augmented right now so this is augmented reality this is beautiful now for the first time i'm able to visualize animal cell in a 3d structure so i can i can move my phone in all different directions i can see how it actually looks like i know that animal cell does not have cell wall and that's the reason it looks like this and in fact i can go inside and have a look inside of the cell how it feels like and looks like 
and the best part is on the right side corner you can even see the labels present over there suppose if 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 ahmed wants to look into only mitochondria click on mitochondria and you will be able to see mitochondria yeah i come back i click on centrioles it, these are the centrioles in this particular way i click on vacuole okay this is vacuole just a space empty space endoplasmic reticulum this is endoplasmic reticulum so in this way i can actually you know look into the structures uh, in a much more detailed way one of the you know important or separate uh, uh, topic of discussion during the training program will be augmented and virtual reality in case if you're not able to find the things that are present here you can make your own ar which we will be doing during the training program so let me come back would you like to see one more picture let's go to figure 5.6 as well and let's see this Five, this is the plant cell. I scan and this is the plant cell. Do you see that? So there's a cell wall over here. And from on the top, I go down, I go down. I'm being inside the cell right now. This is endoplasmic reticulum along with the nucleus, plastids. This is nice. Don't you think that if we had all these things during our days, we would have been biologists right now or some kind of doctors? Yeah, I'm sure some of you are thinking like, "Yeh sab mere time pe hota to bahut acha hota." Had this been there all, you know, during my school days, it would have been much better. Yeah, it would have been better. Things keep changing, so that's okay, no problem. So anyway, so this particular textbook is very important for us to have during uh, uh, the scanning process. AR now augmented reality always does not require images for it to get augmented. Yeah, it uh, there are some applications without, uh, you know, the requirement of. Uh, uh a, a, a reference image things can still get augmented say for example ar lupa i think most of you might know about ar lupa no you can make a note of it otherwise ar lupa is another classic uh, mobile application with which uh, we can actually work around on different animals earlier all the things were completely free of cost now you can see that uh, each and everything is coming up with certain cost out there okay my elephant has also gone now mm hmm all these are at a certain expense don't worry if ar lupa completely becomes chargeable i still have another application which which uh, which i will be showing you right now oh you've used ar lupa i mean that's great i mean uh, sorry right so i just have to uh, scan it on the floor and i have got this beauty there okay <laughs> Of course, you know this how to do it, use, right? So here in this case, I can I can get this guy down, up. Where are his eyes? Yeah, here it is. Okay, and uh, you know using two fingers. Uh, the best part is you can have multiple animals also after by clicking the plus option over here, or else you can even do your own recording. I can I can select a recording option, and uh, so what I can do is I can be part of the video like this. Where am I? Yeah, here am I. So I can say that yeah, generally people have pet animals like dogs and cats. I've got a crocodile. Yeah, so you can talk to the students like this, and uh, you can say that crocodiles are those mammals that live inside the water. And what what do they call us? Amphibians? No, I don't remember. So on water and on land, marshy land specifically, you know, they're there. Have you seen any crocodile in your daily life? Daily life, really? No, we see in zoo. It's 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 a wild animal, right? So in this particular way, I can talk to the students. The recording happens, and right after that, the recording can be shared with the students via WhatsApp, Google Classroom, or whatever you want. Anyways, you can see that here my videos is there, and uh, yeah, I can click on save. It will get saved in the gallery. Right after AR Lupa, there are so many other applications as well. But one application that can actually solve all your purpose. Most of the elements are present over here, called as expeditions. Google expeditions. You can quickly make a note of it. Google expeditions is one classic uh, AR VR tool with which you can, you know, uh, get anything you want. In fact, you just click on AR on the top, and all the elements related to AR will be over here. And this keeps getting updated. This keep on. Uh, I think every week they have got multiple new topics over there. So you have bridges, you have modern art and art and sculpture, ionic theory. I really like this. The moment I click on this, I click on view in AR, and you can see that one, two, three. So this is how it looks like inside of an atom. You can see the electrons are roaming around, and right here inside you have the protons and the neutron cloud. So you, you at the bottom you have the explanation part as well. So chemistry teacher out there, I think you're just looking at this very carefully right now. Now we are looking at the electrons 
we generally think that electrons actually move in a specific orbit no it's very the complete movement is spherical completely spherical and you can see the cloud electron cloud right now over here and right inside you can see the protons and the neutrons yeah i'll, I'll go to the nucleus part let's see how nucleus looks like one two three okay this is the nucleus nucleus consists of protons and neutrons i go to the atoms of different elements let's see what do we have oh that's great so here we have uranium this is how uranium looks like yeah i think uranium is that resource which is responsible for atomic power right then you have something called as gold very precious and then you have hydrogen cute little thing over here so these are some of the things with respect to google expeditions there are lots of other inf information as well which we will be talking in detail during the training right now i don't really want to bother much with this but yeah expeditions is something that you should really check out it has got ar vr both of the things and uh, during the training program we also talk about uh, various other applications mobile applications through which you can teach different subjects like dissection lab dissection lab is all about uh, doing performing a dissection on a frog or a earthworm it's all about what do you call that what do you call that i forgot morphology if i'm not wrong teachers biology teacher if anyone out there you can just verify if it's right or not morphology of a flower morphology of a frog things like that yeah anatomy otherwise frogs anatomy or earth earthworm anatomy and things like that so there are many apps and in fact there is one very interesting app you can actually make a note of it and you can check it out yourself beaker beaker is another app wherein i have got uh, you know mobile phone acting like a beaker now how do how does a beaker look like it it looks like something like this right in a 3d structure and whenever you want to pour something you pour like this from the beaker if you want to pour water you have to do this on a similar note if you have a phone and if you install beaker in that in the phone your phone will act like a beaker yes and you can actually literally pour water from one phone to another you might not understand what i'm trying to say right now but requesting everyone to please download beaker or check the website tix.co you will get to know more about it yeah thix.co yeah now now comes the last part of the day teachers but this is the most important according to me because there are a lot of chances that whenever we share our computer screens and talk to the students uh it's not always sure that if the students are present over there now say for example we have parveen ma'am we have vidya ma'am we have babita ma'am now parveen ma'am is actually the teacher of vidya and babita say for example yeah now vidya and babita are students listening to parveen ma'am in the class using zoom classroom this is what is happening now parveen ma'am is saying students i have something very interesting to show you on a youtube video now immediately she shares the screen parveen and uh, parveen ma'am shares the screen and vidya and babita are excited to see what the video is all about now here in this case it's a case study vidya lives in a very good city in a proper city where an internet cannot be a problem at all ever but babita ma'am actually lives in a place which is quite remote and internet facility is not that great so there's lots of you know lag and all so when parveen ma'am is actually showing some video who will be able to listen to her carefully vidya right babita will not be able to hear it properly there might be some kind of a lag so babita ma'am says that parveen ma'am could you repeat that parveen ma'am immediately will repeat that then again babita ma'am after 5 minutes will be like ma'am could you repeat that parveen ma'am will still repeat that how many times will parveen ma'am repeat that over the period of time you will be losing the patience you will be like no she is not able to hear it to me let me give the link to babita let her see whenever she wants to and what is the guarantee that if she is seeing or not hence if i come up with a solution in such a way that irrespective of whichever location you are in i want you to see the video in your own computer without screen sharing and at the same time control that computer from the teacher's place that means if parveen ma'am is there she will be controlling the laptop or computer of vidya and babita but they will be able to see the video in their own computer you do not understand right you will be able to understand right now so i am going to do one thing to all all the teachers right now i request everyone i am going to share a link on the chat yeah the moment i share the link on the chat it will take you to a new place just just enter your name and right after you enter your name uh, it will ask for you to uh, write your name and join the class yes i got it you just have to join the class and right after joining the class you will be seeing yourself at some location i'll be sharing that to you right now so here we come i am going to share the location where is it 
Okay. Okay, so the link is going to come on the chat right now in another five seconds. No, not five seconds, 10 seconds probably. It's taking some time to load. Come on, come on, log in, log in. Yeah, that's it. So the moment we log in. Okay, here we go. So teachers, you please watch out for the link that's coming on the chat right now. It'll take you to a new window. And uh, enter your name and click on join lesson. That's it. If you participate in this, you'll get to understand very good insights about the platform that I'm talking about right now. Copy link, the link on the chat in another three seconds. Three, two, one. That's it. Teachers have shared the link on the chat. Please click on the link that's there on the chat right now. Everyone, the moment you click on the link, it will take you to a new window. Yeah, enter your name and click on join lesson. Let me see how many of you have actually joined. The moment you click on join, uh, you will be there underwater. Yeah, you will be there underwater. You will be able to see a screen which is like underwater and you can move the screen left and right. It's a 360 degree image. I have some surprises through this platform requesting everybody to please join the lesson. Click on the link which is there on the chat. Click on the link which is there on the chat. Oh, great. I've got the first person joined in, Poonam Sharma. Thank you so much. Come on, teachers, keep joining. We have got Bindya, we have got Babita, Deepa, Dinesh, Priya, Rajkumar, Sultana, Vidya. There are two Vidyas. That's great. Come on, teachers. The moment you join, it's, it's going to be now. That's great. Sushma, Sushila. Thank you so much for joining. It will take you to another window. Enter your name. The moment you enter your name, click on join the lesson. You'll be there inside. Arunima, that's great. Come on, teachers. There are 20, 26 people who have joined already. And as a teacher, I get to see how many people have joined. So be in that page. Don't do anything. Tabashum, ma'am. That's great. Thank you so much for joining. Jhansi. There's somebody called as H. It's okay, no problem. There are 60 people. Even if I have 30, 34 people, I'll be happy about it. I can quickly start the session. That's great. 31, I have a Celine. Thanks for joining. Jhansi, thanks for joining. Lakshmi, Laurel, Lavina, Lavina, right? Lavina Nightingale. That's a nice name. So here we go. So teachers, right now you're all there underwater. Now, as a teacher, I can I can talk to you about you know coral reefs. I can say that this is how coral reef look like, and whatever you're looking at is, is a human being with, with some kind of a suit on him. And he's actually called a scuba diver. And can you spot any other scuba diver on the image? So you can actually start rotating the image. The students can look around and they can say that, yeah, I can find two more scuba divers out there. And then you can zoom in, zoom out, talk about these, you know, planktons, mushrooms, and underwater creatures and stuff like that. You can see so many fishes out there. Now, after talking about all these things, rotating the screen in all different directions, suppose if a teacher feels that, enough of this particular chapter, let me go to the next slide. Teachers, watch this. The moment I change the slide on my computer, it gets changed on yours as well. And you don't have an option to change the slide. Now we are all there in Taj Mahal, if I'm not wrong. We are all there in Taj Mahal, if I'm not wrong. Now, as a social studies teacher, just like the way we were using Google Earth, I can use Nearpod to take the students to that particular area and discuss about the different elements out there. So here it's like Taj Mahal constructed during the Mughal dynasty, uh, Babur stuff, whatnot. You can talk about everything. The best part is whenever I am there in a particular slide, the students are forced to be there in that particular slide. They can't change the slide. You can see that you're not able to change the slide, right? Now, the moment I change the slide on my computer, it gets changed on yours. Now you're all looking at the 3D structure of lungs. It looks like some chicken piece. No, I don't know. <laughs> don't mistake me. But you're able to see that lungs out there. And you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Talk to the students about the bronchitis or esophagus, whatever you call that, the windpipe. And then, and, you know, inside of the lungs also, you'll be able to see all these alveolize if i'm not wrong is it called as alveolize no i don't know i'm so sorry i'm very poor in biology i didn't have all these things during my school day so obviously yeah so right after looking into this particular slide if i have to change the slide you know some of the teachers are not able to join that's okay don't worry let me share my screen to give you an idea 
the moment i i i yeah so right now you're all there in a place where it is actually going to take you to an external website so suppose if i want the students to play a game uh, of some kind of a subject which is mathplayground.com right now uh, i can bring that from an external website and put it over here inside nearpod and using this you can actually start playing the you can you can see that there's an option called as click to enter the website or something like that i think some of you would have got it everybody would have got it actually yeah so right after clicking that it will take you to that particular website and you can start performing operations over there now suppose if the students are playing games for some 10 10 to 15 minutes right after that i'm like okay enough i think enough of gameplay let's let's go to the next slide so the moment i go to the next slide you can see that it gets changed on your screen as well and now we have this fet interactive simulation just like the way we had fet you know as a separate website here also i have it and i can choose what uh, experiment i need to actually perform over here so right now you're all able to see uh, the skate energy skate basics yeah you can increase the friction you can decrease the friction you can increase the mass decrease the mass talk about all these things and the students will get to understand the things and the best part is after students perform all these activities the moment i change the slide it will go to the next slide and this particular slide which i'm going to show you right now is is a video this is what i was talking about vidya and babita when it when they were taught by parveen ma'am so right now i am actually not playing the video you are all able to play the video on your computer are you able to do that think about it just just try it from your side i'm pretty sure the video is playing on your computer right now is it happening great 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 if it's happening i'm very happy about it you are able to get the point now right after this so the moment i change the slide again now there are some questions that are popping up right over there no sorry yeah what is the capital city of india so the moment a question comes over there you just have to answer and wait don't do anything it will say that do you want to edit the answer no you don't have to edit the answer so can you see four options out there a b c d so you can even prepare your own question paper the best part of near pod is i told you what the students are doing we will be able to know so here i can see that laurel poonam vidya deepa everybody marked the answer d uh, babita still did not do it raj do, did not do it no raj did it just now and he marked an answer wrong bindya did it sultana did it beena did it i can see sushila is still trying but she is not able to get it sushma manmeet they are still trying they are not able to get it that's okay no problem yeah lavina mam has also answered it so as a teacher you get to see what the students are doing on their systems that's the best part of nearpod.com in fact even if they type something you'll get to see in fact even if they draw something you'll get to see so right now there's a question draw the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word scenery so teachers please start drawing and i can see poonam sharma has already started drawing the best part is as a teacher you get to see whatever the students are doing So here in this case, Lavina, I'm started. Vidya, I'm started. Vidya, I'm started. Deepa has started. That's great. Okay, most of you are like sun between two mountains and a river flowing. That's awesome, Celine, ma'am. Arunima is also drawing. Yeah, and that sun will also would not have you know completely risen. It will be still there. That's that's what is scenery for all of us, right? And what about the boat? Yeah, I can see boat in Vidya's drawing. <laughs> and there should be a house also, right? Can I see some houses? Yeah, houses are okay. Rajkumar has made a house, and that looks like a smiley. That's cute. Awesome, awesome. And you can see the birds flying, the V-shaped birds. Vidya has drawn that. That's great. And some of you have even started coloring that. Oh, that's great. Narendra Kumar sir, that's a good drawing out there. Gloria ma'am, that's a good drawing out there. So as the teacher, I I get to see what the students are doing. Uh. you know on neopod.com even if they type something even if they bring some pictures from outside you can still do that lavina mam has in fact even colored the river with blue color and you can simply click on the submit button and and vidya mam has started erasing that you don't have to don't worry i go to the last slide teachers the moment i go to the last slide there's an activity out there so you will get 3 2 1 coming uh, the question is it's a poll question basically don't you think such kind of teaching would be fun in the class you have to say yes or no Yeah, that's great. That's great. I can see some poll options coming up, and the students have already started marking the answer. Wow, fantastic, fantastic! It's more of fantastic, right? 
Gloria, Nabila, Narendra Kumar. That's great. That's great. Lovely, lovely. Good job, teachers. Good job. Now, now I click on your pod. I click on end session here. And you can see on your screen that it got ended right now. It got ended. Did it get ended? I guess so. I guess so. Yes, absolutely. It would have got ended all the, already, right? Yes, you can come back to the place where you can, um, yeah, to Zoom screen right now. So teachers, whatever you've seen right now is called as nearpod.com. It's, it's kind of a platform. So I have one last tool and right after this, we'll be discussing more about it. Uh, we'll not be, I mean, we'll be closing the day, but I'll repeat it. If you want to learn all these things in a detailed manner, I really request you to, you know, spend a little bit of amount, which is worth the amount. You, if you look into the training program, it's, it's not even hundred rupees per day. It's not even hundred rupees per hour. In fact, I think you will be definitely able to afford it. We made sure that during COVID times, we are not supposed to exploit. This is not the time to make business or money out of this, but with whatever we can, we are, we are trying our best to, uh, you know, give the best possible solution out there for effective communication. And for that, uh, I, I really request everyone to please look into super teacher website and see what are the areas that are covered and then please consider enrolling so that you'll have a very good insight. And right after the session, you'll feel very empowered. Just not that we will be there to handhold you for a long time, for six months, three months, depending upon the agreement. We can be there whenever you do all these things in the school, we'll be there to assist you. We'll be one of the students in the class. We can do classroom observation, and whatever you want, depending upon the conversation that we have. So I'm requesting everyone to please visit the website superteacher.in to know more about it. If you want to know more websites and... <coughs> Extremely sorry. If you want to know more about the websites and things like uh, whatever we cover at Super Teacher, you can actually follow us on YouTube and uh, Facebook, Instagram pages and all. The links are there on the chat right now and you'll get to know more information about all these things. Anyways, last five minutes of the day, teachers, I would like to request you to please click on the link that's coming on the chat. Uh, this is one of the best assessment tools I've been ever using called as uh, quizzes.com. It's there on the chat right now. Quizzes.com is my favorite. Click on the link. It'll take you to a new page. Enter your name and let's play. Let's play. Come on, teachers. Keep doing it. I haven't seen anyone so far. Please click on the link. Okay, one person has already joined. That's Babita out there, an active participant of the day. Okay, Lavina, Celine, Vindya, Nabila, Laurel, Vidya, Jyoti, Sharmin, Jansi. Okay, that's great. Okay, we have GM Foundation as well. Okay, good to see you, sir. Yeah, Arunima, Deepti, Teja, Sabita, Deepa, Sultana. That's great. Come on, keep joining, teachers. I would like to have at least 30 of you to have a good competition out there. Quizzes is the best. If any student out there says that, I would like to come back to your class, ma'am, because your class is really interesting. The reason would be quizzes.com. Click on the link. It'll take you to a new page. Yes, you, you, some of you might be using quizzes. I'm pretty sure. Preetan, and, and then we have Poonam, Priscilla. Srivalli, then we have Bejabin, then Sindhu. That's great. Gloria and Oshin. Let's let's click on start right now. This is Ayanaba, ma'am. Thanks for joining. The moment I click on start, you can see that it's take you five, four, three, two, one there, right? Absolutely. Yeah, the questions on the screen right now, start answering them one by one. Keep doing that. Let me share my screen as well. <laughs> Okay, go on mute over here for the sound. And you can see right now, Lavina is there on the top of the leaderboard with 1,870 points followed by Celine and Jansi. Come on, teachers, keep working out. Okay, there's a massive change. Sharmin on top of the leaderboard with 1,890 points followed by Lavina and Sultana. Keep working on, keep working on. Lavina back again on the top. She doesn't want to give up. Jhansi coming on the top of the table with 2,720 points. Keep answering the questions one by one. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy this. So I have Shermin, Jhansi and Lavina fighting like anything to be there on the top and they have marked an answer wrong. As a teacher using quizzes.com, I get to see what you're doing actually out there. I can see that some of you are not answering the questions right. Some of you are not answering the question. Uh, some of you are answering the question wrong. Yeah, I'm able to get that. Now there's a massive change. I can see that Bina is there on the top of the leaderboard with 3,590 points, followed by Priscilla, Celine, and Sherman. Come on, teachers. Well, this is not to test your knowledge. It's just to give you an idea of how quizzes.com actually works. And this is one of the favorites of the students, even if it's not your favorite. They would want to come back to your class as many times as possible. 
teachers, the top of the leaderboard right now, still Bina with 4,480 points, followed by Priscilla, then we have Preetan, then Lavina. I think we'll close this another 30 seconds. Hurry up answering at least five more questions. Right after the, uh, you know, quizzes uh, uh, completion, you also get to have the complete reports. So you'll get to see what you've done. So right now I can see Priscilla on top of the leaderboard, followed by Bina, Preetan, Shermin. There's a massive change. Last 10 seconds and then we'll close this. Okay, Jhansi has come to the top now. Not to the top, at least to the third position. Priscilla answered a question wrong. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Are we close that and I end the quiz. The moment I end the quiz, you can see that the top three performers are Jhansi in the third place, Priscilla in the second place, and the first Bina. Okay, lovely. Congratulations to all the three teachers out there. And I can make your parents happy by just you know, sending a mail to them. You just have to click on the mailbox over there and you get to see the complete report of Bina. Um, what questions have been answered, how long it, it took for her to answer that question, all those responses and things. We will be digging in detail during our training program. Let me stop share the screen right now and talk to you all. That's it, teachers. We have come to the end of the session. I hope you got an insight of different resources and tools uh, I, I I hope you uh, you know you start using all these things right from today. One one very bad thing about technology is that uh, if you really like it, you need to be very close to technology because once you leave a small gap, it'll forget you. Yeah, you will forget it. In fact, so the point over here is practice as many times as possible. If you stop even for one day, that's today you're not going to get it back. So requesting everyone to please practice on all the uh, you know resources that we spoke about today. And please consider looking into the website superteacher.in to know more about the programs. You'll get to see information related to Mission e Guru program and various other programs as well. The batches are starting tomorrow. I'm sure like at least five of you over here would want to join the training tomorrow itself. Uh, take your time, look into the things, compare it with from like other places, look into the feedback of other teachers in YouTube. You'll get to know good information out there. Anyways, that's it from my side. I really appreciate everyone to come uh, on a Sunday like this, you know, take pain. It's not so easy. Thank you so much for doing that. I hope I, I justified your time. I hope it was worth spending. Thank you so much, teachers. Great interacting with you. I'll see you all in the training program. Take care. Happy Sunday. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Poonam, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Tamina. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jyoti. Thank you, Celine. That's great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Laurel. Thank you, Priscilla. Thank you, Arunima, ma'am. Thank you, Manju, ma'am. Thank you, Poonam, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Babita. Thank you, Vidya, ma'am. Thanks a ton, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jan.